How's it going YouTube? Rob some knowledge here. It's been a little while since I posted a video, but today we have another uTorrent tutorial for you all today. I've got a lot of comments about it, a lot of questions asking me to do an updated version for uTorrent 3.5.0, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So now with this, just like the other ones, um, I've managed to get um, anywhere from 400 to 1000% increase in speeds, so that translates to 4 to 10 times your original speed with these settings. You may see the same, you may see more, you may see less, you may see no change at all. One video is not going to help everybody. Be sure to keep up with my playlist of uTorrent videos. One of those videos is sure to help you. Now like I said this is going to be for uTorrent version 3.5.0 so let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you want to do is you want to bring up your preferences window and you get there by going to options and then preferences and that will pull this up. From there, you're going to go to the connection. Uh, you're going to go to port used for incoming connections. Set that to 45682. You're going to want to check these three boxes, and you're going to want to uncheck the randomized port each start. Then after that, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, don't mess with the proxy server. Just leave that at none, and don't mess with that down here. Then after that, we're going to go to the bandwidth. And for the maximum upload rate, you want to set that to zero. For unlimited because you don't want to throttle your uh, you don't want to throttle your rate and then also for the download rate you want to put that to zero as well for unlimited and then after that you want to go ahead and apply you want to uncheck this box the apply rate limit to transport overhead you want to uncheck that uh, you also want to uncheck this one apply rate limit to UTP connections this was actually a viewer suggested um, viewer suggested change and it actually does help some I forget the guy's name but um, if you are watching go ahead and comment below and I'll pin your comment to the top so you can get a little bit of praise and then also you're gonna want to keep this box unchecked and then down here these are some of the most important numbers you want to put your global maximum number of connections to 2329 put your maximum number of connected peers per torrent to 1890 and number of upload slots per torrent you want to set that to 14 and then you want to have this box checked as well. Use additional upload slots if upload speed is less than 90%. Get it? Got it? Good. Next, after that, we're going to go to the BitTorrent tab. All of these boxes should be checked here with the exception of these two. You want to uncheck limit local peer bandwidth and uncheck enable altruistic mode. For your protocol encryption, you want to go ahead and set that to enabled and check allow incoming legacy connections and then after that we're going to go to the queuing tab underneath the queuing tab you're going to want to go ahead and fill in all these numbers you're going to want to put the maximum number of active torrents to 60 maximum number of active downloads that should be at 60 as well and then down here, these are kind of a personal thing. Um, seating minimum ratio, I always do 200%. You should do at least 100%. You should always give back what you take, but nobody can really make you. I would just say do at least 100% minimum. Minimum seating time, I have that at zero. Minimum number of available seats, I have that at zero. And then you're all done, guys. Just go ahead and click Apply. Click OK, and you will be good to go. Now, let me know what kind of increases you guys got down below. If you didn't get any increases, let me know, and I will put out some more videos with different settings for people who it did not help. And also, if you would like to just restore your settings to default because none of these videos work for you, go ahead and click the info card up in the top right or look in the description. I will link it. It will also be an end screen on this video, so if you need to reset your settings to default, there's that for you. That's about it guys, I'm not trying to make this video too too long, I will see you guys in the next one, thanks for watching as always, make sure you give it a thumbs up if it helped you out, and I'll see you next time, bye bye.